Hi, welcome back to the Relationship Masters book review series. I'm Grace Chatting and I'm the founder of Relationship Academy. And today I'm going to talk to you about the work of Harville Hendricks. Now, Harville Hendricks has written many books about relationship, but in particular, I want to talk to you about getting the love you want. And now, this book was written back in 1988, and it was born out of uh, the dissolution of Harville's first marriage, which was in 1975. Now, he'd had quite a long-term marriage and a couple of little children, and he was working as a therapist for individuals and for couples himself. And he, you know, he, he, he and his wife, his first wife, were very committed to making the marriage work. And they did engage with a, a counsellor, you know, a therapist, a couple of therapists. Um, but sadly, it didn't work out and the marriage ended. Now... To put it mildly, I, from what I've read, uh, Harville was absolutely gutted on a personal and a professional level uh, of how, since he was one of the people who knew about these things, how was he not able to make this work? So he immersed himself in answering that question. How was it that the therapy didn't work? And also, well, what, what was it that made for successful relationships and marriages. So he spent many years trying to find the answer to that. So out of that came this book. Now the focus of the book is on the psychology of love. He subsequently married Helen Hunt, who is also a therapist. And together they created Imago Therapy which is a model of working with couples, quite different to the usual uh, couple therapy models. And the, the, the book is actually divided into uh, three sections. And the first section um, is about the conscious marriage. And, you know, that this is a theme that runs through many of the, the works of Relationship Masters. Uh, the idea of a conscious marriage and an unconscious marriage. The, I find that the majority of couples who come to me as clients, they are not actually aware that there is such a thing as a conscious marriage and an unconscious marriage. Um, they don't know what conscious uh, consciousness means to them and what it means to be a conscious individual or an unconscious individual. So the first uh, section of the book is about the conscious marriage. And I would urge you, if you take nothing else away from this, you'll, you'll find that this is a repeating theme, that you actually, if you don't know the answer to the question, what is the difference between a conscious marriage and an unconscious marriage, then you absolutely need to find out what that answer is. So coming back to Harville's book, the first section is about um, the, the, un, uh, the unconscious marriage. And, you know, the vast majority of people, they're attracted to each other. They don't know what it is that causes the attraction to one person rather than another. Um, they fall in love and it's a kind of a romantic love. And, you know, with them, they bring into that relationship all the unconscious and automatic behaviours that are linked to their childhood. And a lot of unconscious childhood stuff gets played out in that relationship um, that really doesn't have anything much to do with the couple. They get into power struggles then. And really, much of it has to do with unresolved and unconscious childhood issues. Now, I know that might seem a bit strange, but believe me, you need to take this seriously. So the second part, part two, is about the conscious marriage. And this section highlights the difference between a conscious marriage and an unconscious marriage. 
So what he talks about is a conscious marriage helps you to satisfy the unmet needs of childhood in a positive kind of a way. It rekindles romantic love and actually in a conscious marriage both parties are cooperating and collaborating in um, resolving the unconscious childhood issues. They work together to do that instead of getting into a power struggle about it. They become allies for each other's healing. And now part three takes all of these ideas and packages them into a 10 week relationship therapy course. And um, it's very, very good. There's lots of exercises and it leads you step by step into a more and more conscious uh, relationship. So I hope you will go to get, I would recommend that any couple um, who are newlyweds or have been together for some time that they actually will take the trouble to get this book and to read it. And now I would be really delighted if you would take the trouble also to go to the Relationship Academy website, that's relationshipacademy.co.uk, and perhaps opt in and get some free videos there. Um, I'd also like it if you would like this video, uh, that would be really good. Click the like button underneath. And also, if you could go over and join our growing Facebook community, um, that would be really good and perhaps like the page there. So until the next time, thank you for listening. Bye for now.